parents uh, see her, don't worry about it. Do you ever watch Channel 8 in the, in the morning? No. They only have camera for one person. Right. The other two, uh, the, uh, the other two, the other two, the other two yeah. they have, uh, is the side good? Yes, side is right. good. You guys are on. Right. Oh, we are. We are on to something, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Am I in your way? Okay, now let's talk, uh, Amanda. Yes. We're going to start the second half and face the truth with boots today. Dan, with the Liz Dan Rolando Ross, and we have Amanda back with us, and her husband Dan, and we were talking about Ishur. Ishur, the last time that she was here, and uh, you know, it's just a horrible, horrible uh, birth control device. It has affected so many women. I remember the last time on our show, you remember the pictures that I show you of the swollen bellies and how it breaks up in women's bodies, and it's just a disgusting, horrible thing that's going on. And we need to make sure that they are put out of business. And, uh, you know, if you're a lawyer out there and you want to uh, join in on the lawsuits that's going in, I think that this is definitely a cause that you would like to take on. But since we last talked, Amanda, what's been going on? Um, we actually hit 33,000 wow. members um, on the Insure Problems actually just a few days ago. Um, yeah, 33,002 members. Um, we've grown since uh, 2029, uh, last year when the FDA stated we sure would be uh, have a black box one. And since then, we've had 5,353 members join. And those what, are members. While you're doing that, I'm going to do something else, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, now I give you more rules. Then, see over here. Thank you. I want to start with, before you get into that, I just want to take a minute. Um, the last time that you were here, Amanda, we joked around a lot about marriage and about taking care of kids and stuff like that. Yeah. But now that Dan is here, I always pride myself on whenever I talk about somebody behind their back, I like to tell them when I see them. Dan, you are a man, amazing person. I'm standing by your wife through everything she went through. It is not easy to go through that. Uh, I love my wife, but at the same time, I'm very hard on my wife. I'm old school. I'm, I'm an old guy, and uh, we don't always understand what's going on or accept what's going on. But when women's bodies are complicated, and they go through a hell of a lot more than we do. And I just want to tell you to your face, because I was telling her, you must have an amazing husband. And uh, I just want to compliment you for standing by her side, because that had to be difficult. Yeah. Well, thank you. But um, that's what every husband and father should do. Yes, they should. Yes, they should. Absolutely. So what's up? Go ahead, Mary. Tell us. Tell us what's going on. 33,000? Yeah, we're at 33,000 and two members. Wow. Yeah, I can't put those that's two. That's right. It's not. That's not. Um, it, we've also um, forgot to talk about Erin Brockovich's yes. website. Yeah. She has a website, esherprocedure.net. Um, she's trying to, one, stop the preemption laws. Um, it's, you know, kind of keeping companies safe. Um, the issue with that is people have two years to file complaints um, whether it's pills, two years from the moment they start taking it, two years from the moment they get implanted with the device. Right. Me, it, I was really quick at I need to know what's wrong. Right. A lot of other people, lot of people are like, are. they don't know that he sure Absolutely. causes all these symptoms that they have. Absolutely. You're given a two year window. I mean, that is going to be, be, be a lot of time and, to, to exactly. narrow anything down, um, especially, you know, with all the tests that my wife has. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. That's right. And you never want to think the worst. Yeah. So right. you let it go on longer than you should. You know, it's two years. They, they did that on purpose. Yeah. Two years. Cover their butts. And, you know, and it's it's sad because doctors don't know. They don't know what's going on. You know, so I can't sit there and we can't blame the doctors. Doctors don't know. You know, they get people coming in with tingling, numbness, sharp pains. You know, they go to the first thing that pops to their head. You know, right. like, okay, well, we think it might be this. That's right. Take this. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, we have how many? These are symptoms, five pages of symptoms that come with Esher. Wow. Five pages. Now, some of those are listed five twice, um, but it, it's per it's category, too. Cervical cancer. Yeah. Wow. This carries hot flashes, ovarian cysts, 
five pages. How do you justify putting this in a lady's body? This disgust. This makes absolutely no sense. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I like me. You know, I had no clue. I I was I brought brought into the OB office and was told the best thing is about Easter. Nothing about side effects. So when I started having symptoms, you know, I didn't think, oh, well, you know, I did have this planted in me. It could be that, you know. So, I mean, there's so many different things. And you, you couldn't even think, you know, all this can be from one thing. What did you think then when she was going through this? What was going through your mind? Yeah, honestly, I didn't know what to think, you know. Um, there's something going on, but we don't know what. And, you know, all the doctors are telling her she's fine. You know, we're going through months and months and months of tests. Um, as I progressively see her getting worse and worse, and we're not getting any answers. Um, so I, I, at one point in time, you know, I, I thought maybe she was going crazy. You know, like my wife's losing her mind, and, and it's all in her head. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I really, you know, this whole time I stuck by her side and. and and just what could it be? You know, what else could it be? And we had no clue. Um, you know, aside from having a biopsy on her brain, which was, you she know, told me about I mean, come on now. <laughs> well, we don't know what's going on, but we're going to take a piece of your brain. Yeah, you know, why don't you give her a lobotomy while you're alive? And, and uh, you know, it just, it felt like we were getting the run around trying to drag yeah. things out and, you know, maybe play into their statute of limitations. Did, mm -hmm. did somebody know what was going on the whole time and they were just trying to pull the wool over our eyes or, or what's really going on yeah. here? Um, what are we trying to hide and what do we need to get exposed so people know what's out there and what's hurting these women and their families? I think a lot of times what happens with these pharmaceutical companies is that they spend so much money to make the product and then I think they do realize, uh oh, you know, because they test constantly. And I think as those test results start coming back, they knew they had a problem. None of these things, the two-year uh, the, the thing, none of these things are by accident. They have, I always try to tell people, these big companies, they have departments. They have accounting departments. They have medical departments. You know, they've done their homework. None of this is by accident. So it, it's, it's just amazing that they were allowed, the FDA cleared them to come out with this. But I think so much money had been put into the product, and by the time that they realized that some of the side effects and some of the things that were wrong with it, it was too late. And at, at that time, they want to recoup their money. Yeah. They want to make money. Money comes over people's lives. Yeah. And let's just be honest, that's in, in most businesses. Yeah. Look at what was that, the, the BW, that put out all those cars with those airbags that were you know, killing people. What about even, I mean, the smallest the phones that were bursting and up in the flames on yeah. people? They know. You don't think that that's the test in the laboratory before they knew, you know, before they put that product out, but they have to recoup their money. Mm -hmm. And I'm just glad that this is coming out now and that you, my friend, Amanda, is okay. You're doing better now. Because to me, it's just sad. It's sad. Yeah, my 10-year-old my or my husband's at work wondering if I'm going to be okay yeah. today. You know, my 10-year-old gets home from, from school and he helps, you know, he helped me for a long time to take care of my other kids. Yeah. That's not okay. Yeah. You know, I, women are dependent on to run the household That's while right. the men are at work. I That's can't right. do my job going through all of these symptoms That's and right. giving the runaround, you know, pills. Here you go. More money. You know, given to the FDA here, try this, try this, try this. You know, I wanted answers. I fought really hard to get answers. Right. You know, and a lot of females are like, oh, well, you think it's this? Then, okay, I'll try this for a while. You know, and I'm like, I, I want people to know that they have an option to get tests done before going along with any type of prescription. Oh, I'm thankful for the Easter Problems website, too. Now women have a place to find a, a source. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. They're not crazy. No. They're right in it by themselves. This, this is going on. This and it's every day you see, you know, new women that are getting added on and, and they're like, you know, I thought I was going crazy. Wow. You know, I'm not alone. I'm really not alone, you know, and I'm I'm shocked, you know, and they were breaking it down, you know, people that have side effects. You shouldn't run across someone else who has side effects. It's the same side effects. You shouldn't come across <laughs> the same right. person having the same side That's effects. Right. It's, it shouldn't happen. And 
I know three women in Nevada, one of which that I came across, mm -hmm. that has had the same issues. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So what happens when they finally do get this product out of these women's bodies? <sighs> Um, well, you have to find a doctor that is knowledgeable on how to remove it first. I mean, that's a, a lot of issues that women are coming across. How to safely remove these products. I was going to ask you that. Is it life threatening? I mean, just there have been, it removed potentially. Yes, there have been deaths recorded when um, Esher having it removed. I mean, when, when women are hemorrhaging inside and you go and remove you know, try to remove something from them, and there's just so much blood. I mean, there's only so much you can do, you know, and that's one of the issues is that it's causing women to get inflamed inside. You can't do work, figure out what is going on when women are swollen, inflamed, and bleeding all over the place. And the devices are so small, I mean, you have yeah. to have a very high skill level just to be able to safely remove it without performing a total hysterectomy. Yeah, or yeah, how big is it? Nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. Oh, wow. Wow. And it's it's made up, it's uh, coils, metal coils, yeah. so, and those tend to break apart and migrate. So you can, you know, somebody in there trying to cut and remove a device that's made up of tiny coils, what if a, a fragment breaks off and just oh, decides to go goodness. wherever it's gonna go? Um, we have pictures of, of coils in people's, close to people's lungs. Yeah. And, you know, migrated all the way up their body. Yeah, we have a lady that's actually trying to get tests done. They couldn't locate one of the coils in her, anywhere in her body. So they're like, okay, well, we noticed that there's a lump on my daughter's, by my daughter's spine. Could it be that? She went in. They said that the lump that's on her back is not normal. So they want to do further tests before trying to figure, because it's close to her spine. This is a little two-year-old girl. <sighs> You know, you can't locate the coil in the mother, so where else could and it be? Who knows if it was passed on to her when she was in the womb? And, you know, and just she grew with it. Uh, or if it's even in there. I mean, you know, it's still really early and, and still trying to figure that out. But, I mean, just the possibility of that happening is very real. Yeah. Dan, show some of the people some of those pictures. I, I know a lot of people go, oh, no, show that. People need to see that. Yeah. They need to see that. Yeah. We need to see that. We don't need to hide. So, we need to let them know exactly. Look at this. Look yeah. at what that does to people. We got <clears throat> people wearing bags. They have to wear bags after having it done. I mean, coils. They're already broken up into so little pieces. Good example, yeah. So trying to, I mean, this is an exploded view, but trying to remove that surgically out of a fallopian yeah, tube. Especially. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And... When you have doctors that aren't properly trained or are or, or told how to install the device, let alone remove it, these ladies have how many coils? Oh, we've had six and one female. Look at the hair. Right. That off. Designed to have two. Look at the hair loss. Yeah. Look at the hair loss. Just chunks. And that was one of my symptoms was I, I would brush my hair. And, you know, I can't say that hair loss is not normal. It is. Okay, but for a female to lose, you brush your hair, you have chunks in your hair brush. You go and wash your hair, and you're like pulling just strands of hair out. What would cause the hair loss? Um, it's an allergic reaction to the, the coil. You know, us not knowing, we're thinking, oh, maybe it's something in the diet. Let's start mm -hmm. eating these different yeah. foods and doing this and that. You know, we had no yeah. clue, you know, all the while trying to go to the doctors and get answers. But yeah, it was all right there in front of us the whole time. The whole time. I had no clue. Five devices. Five, yeah. Right here. Five devices. Wow. So apparently if they miss, they just go ahead and, and take try another again. shot. Let's try again. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not acceptable. And this is broken up fragments. You can see that there's coils right there, but then there's tiny little pieces broken off. This, is this sounds like an experiment. Yeah, let's try this out. And this <laughs> pills that the females are on. Here we go. So teeth. Breaking teeth. Teeth falling out. Glosses. Decay. Just, just, I mean, honestly. There's, there's people that are allergic to nickel even that, that don't know it. Um, yeah. There's no testing that had been done um, prior to having the device installed. They just ask you, hey, are you allergic to nickel? No, okay, well then let's go ahead. And see, I and wasn't even asked that. That's the thing. Or That's Ariel Grace. You know, 
That was the baby that um, started Ariel Grace's law. Um, she was in the womb and the quail migrated and popped the sac, which caused her to die 27 weeks. I think it was 27 weeks. So, yeah, I mean, yes, women choose to not get pregnant. We don't choose to, you know, have these devices put in us, get pregnant, and have a miscarriage. Losing a child is probably the worst thing that any female could possibly go through. And a man, too. I couldn't even imagine being a husband sitting back and watching your wife <laughs> get pregnant, buying baby stuff, okay, with a pregnancy that shouldn't have happened in the first place. And then, oh, I'm sorry, but you lost your child. The one you didn't want, so you should be fine, right, is how I'm looking at it. Is everyone's just like, well, she didn't want it in the first place. These women didn't want it. Yeah, but we didn't want to lose them either. I didn't sign up to have organs removed. That's a damn experiment is what that is. Okay. That's an experiment. It shouldn't be protruding through anything. Oh, that the pain that I had caused. Oh, the pain? I couldn't even. I have a high tolerance for pain. I, I can, I, I've, 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 I've had four kids, you know, I, and this, this pain, I couldn't even, it felt like I was slowly dying. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just, it, I felt like constant. it was constant, it wouldn't stop. I would wake up in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep. Man, what would you do when she was just in pain? You know, I would just try to do my best to take care of her, you know, and, and make it as easy as I could on her. Um, you know, I'd get home from work and, and take care of the kids and, and try to keep them away and, and try to let her rest. And, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of times where she was just, <laughs> yeah, there was times where she could hardly walk, you know, so I'd help her um, in and out of the shower. And, um, was there a point you thought she might lose your wife? I was scared to death, yeah, at one point. I thought, you know, I was going to lose her and have to face this all on my own, you know, you know, with the kids and, it's, um, it's it's our worst fear. Yeah. We are so reliant Terrifying. on our wife. <laughs> Brother, when my wife gets sick. Man, if you say you're not, you're lying. Oh, you're lying. You're, so just be honest with yourselves. And you are a liar. liar. If you say, oh, lies. you could, you would fall apart. Yeah, you're lying. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I couldn't imagine that because all my kids would be God, God bless, they're all grown now. But if I had to have them, it's like that. I had seven of them. And I couldn't imagine if you left them off. You know, I, it, it's hard on him when I have to go somewhere and he has to watch the kids for a couple hours. Well, not only that, I mean, she's my rock too. Best, you know? exactly. And exactly seeing that happen to her is just—it's very hard, you know, on a day-in-day -day basis to not know what is going on, to not have the answer. To, but you know, people say the unknown is, is the worst, and it's, it's very true. Because people are asking you questions and you don't know what answers to give them. You know, there was times I had to take off work um, when, when she was having really bad days mm -hmm. uh, to take care of her and the kids. And my boss is going, what's going on? And they're like, oh, I don't know. They're saying she might have MS, but we're not sure. They have to do more tests. You know, and this is just going on and on and on throughout the course of a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. And then we finally got our answers and, and it's just, it's great to have her back. Yeah, after I had my hysterectomy, which, you know, it, it, I go back and forth on it because, you know, 32 years old and, you know, I'm, I'm going through menopause, you know, like I, I didn't ask for that. I didn't sign up for that. That's not what I, you know, wanted to be sure for. I, I didn't want to get pregnant. That's all, you know, and I'll tell you what, though, after having that hysterectomy, I feel so much better. It was a week later. I felt great. So much better. I had... My energy was coming back. And I remember you told me the story. You said you called me before you called me. You said, I'm actually up. I'm, I'm, actually I'm in the kitchen. kitchen. I am doing I'm dishes. Going, I'm going, what? You're not making a cake. So I stop at every McDonald's on the way home. You're like, no, no, what's going on? I am not a cook. Right? So, you know, right. Put it on the barbecue or breakfast. Oh, yeah. Anything other than that. Yeah, that's how nice. I. That's right. Yeah. yeah. We are so worthless. <laughs> 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 Sometimes I just go in the kitchen and I just look around. I don't go. Yeah, and then yeah. I call her. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. What are your daughters' names? Uh, Allison and Kaylee. Allison and Kaylee. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to know? Don't say like that. Which one is it? 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 Which one is it?
Because you wanted to make your money back, that's absolutely ridiculous. That's what that's all about. It's the bottom line. It's all about money. Yeah. That's un American as far as I'm concerned. The people come first. They wonder why Donald Trump won. Mm-hmm. The people come first. The people got tired of being second and third and fourth. Yeah. No, we make this damn country. Yeah. We get up every day and pay taxes and work hard. Yep. Put us first sometime. Right. I understand you put yourself first sometime, put money first. I get it. We all do. Mm-hmm. But put the damn, how do you put it, how do you do an experiment like these are the mothers of our country? The damn Nazis didn't treat their mothers like that. Mm-hmm. They worshiped their mothers. Those were the futures of their country. They gave the kids the future of the country. Those were Nazis. They were crazy. Mm-hmm. We treat our own mothers worse than that. Yeah. I mean, the healthcare system was already a joke as it is. Yes. But today they plant this and the people is crazy. I hope that, when, I hope that we sue the, you know what? I would be sure. I hope they have to pay. I hope you guys get some money out of this. I, 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 what Do I would like stop. is this just being taken off. I don't want to see any more people going through what I went through. It's horrible. It is. Absolutely. Tell the people, Amanda, where they can get in contact. If you're going through this, if you had this uh, 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 surgery and you have right. insurance you right now, do not be afraid. We have a man and dad here. They're going to make you feel better. They're going to tell you you're not the only one. You're not crazy. You're going to get through this. But you need to try and get this device out of you mm-hmm. if possible. Wait so we got eSureProcedure.net. That's Erin Brockovich's site. Um, she has many stories, um, kind of uh, pages of information as far as petitions that need to be signed. Um, we have eSure Problems. Um, Facebook page. Yes. And that, that link is also on Ms. Brockovich's website. Yes. Um, and all the information that you need to know is pretty much there on her site, and then there's other links. And really all you have to do is type eSure problems into any search engine, and it will pop up. Can, they, can anybody get in contact with you, Amanda, if they need somebody to talk to or for a support group? There is a support group, eSure problems, on Facebook. Be automatic. You can just you know send a response to them, an email, or a, a, a text message, a friend request. There are administrative people, um, females that have been dealing with this a lot longer than I have. I'm one of the lucky ones, but I mean, there's more than 33,000 women that can. And two, we're not going to get into And two, we can't make the two. And this was yesterday, so you know that number's probably yeah, more. Uh, we can go on our phone right now and we love. Yeah. We're so blessed today. We, we have a few guests today that are coming in, so we're so glad that Amanda and her wonderful husband and two beautiful daughters pulled into our parking lot here at Radio <laughs> Tribune about half an hour early. It was, as God said, it was perfect timing because we, we triple booked today. So we're so blessed that they were able to come here today and do the show. So for all of you people that saw her last week on Chris Garcia, the conservative American, this is the second half of Face the Tribune with Rolando LaRoz. So what you want to do is Google Face the Tribune. The first half is going to be our normal show. These are okay. beautiful dogs if you see them. And the second half of the show from about 12.30 to 1 o'clock. But Google Face the Tribune with Rolando Ross. It'll be up on YouTube. And the second half of the show was dedicated to Amanda and her husband and stopping Isha and getting Isha out of women so that they don't have to go through this. These are the mothers of our country. This makes no sense. It's un-American. It's disgusting what we're doing. This is a damn experiment. You did not know what this was going to end. We're not going to stop. I told you that. Once you once you get me upset, I'm just not going to stop. I'm just going to have them on as many damn times as they want to come on. We're going to have them on different women. We're going to have them support. We're going to do everything we have to do. We get some damn t-shirts made. They already got some. And we're, just, we're just going to keep going. In fact, my wife wants a t-shirt. She wants a t-shirt, too. <laughs> so we're all going to wear t-shirts. Right. And and we can now, now you got Aaron Brockovich. So yeah, tell them about the t-shirts. Yeah, right. um, United Against the Shirts, the shirt rally that I'm having at UNLV behind the Student, Student Union Center on May 6th. May 6th, show 10 up. 10 o'clock. I, I will have information. I, 
cards and banners and all types of stuff. I mean, feel free to come by and ask questions. That's right. I'll be there to answer them. Wonderful. And to all the husbands out there, look at this man right here. He stood by his wife. Your wife is not crazy. She's not making this up. If she has this device, you got to be supportive. You got to be there. She is going through hell right now on her. She's not making these symptoms up. She's not pulling out her own hair. She's not crazy. She doesn't need a piece of her brain taken out. It's because of Eshore. And this man right here stood by her. And now look at their family. That's a future conservative American right there with the flag. And I'm just so thankful that they're coming on. We're not going to stop. They're going to be right back here next Thursday or whenever Thursday you want to come on. It's an open slot for them. Now you got Aaron Brockovich and Chris Garcia. And it's going to be more people. We got Rolando Ross. We got Cian Garcia. We just had 33,000 and two women. And we're just going to keep going until you make this right. But we're going to expose the hottie. Thank you so much for watching, Dan. Thank you so much for being on the show, brother. Thanks for having us. Welcome back whenever you want. And this is my friend, right? This is my new friend, Amanda. She can come on whenever she wants. God bless America. God bless our truth. Wave the flag for me. Wave the flag for me. Oh!